Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name's Wyatt, and today I'll be teaching you about vectors on Roblox. Okay, so all a vector 3 value is, is a way for us to have a 3D representation of our world space, or of a point in our world space, inside of a variable. So, for example, I know that probably sounds really confusing, that definition right there. It actually came from the Roblox wiki. Um, but all that means is, so if we look at this part right here, and we look at the position property, this right here, it has an X, Y, and a Z value. The X axis, right side to side, the Y axis, up and down, and the Z axis, back and forth, those are the three values that go inside of a vector three. So position is a vector three value. So if we were just to change this first number right here, right, they're separated by a comma. So if I was to change that from negative seven to negative eight, you see it'll shift over a little bit. And that's how we do it through the properties channel, but I wanna show you how to do it through a script. So if we go over to server script service, we can create a new script. Uh, and I'm just gonna name this vectors. You can name this whatever you'd like. Uh, and the first thing I wanna do is actually get a reference to our part. So I'm just gonna say local part equals game dot workspace dot part. Now before we actually go and change values, I wanna show you the way a vector three looks. So to create a new vector three value, all we say, is vector three, right, and dot new, we call the dot new method of vector three, and then we put a parenthesis, a left parenthesis, and it fills in with the right parenthesis, and it's just like a function, right, it's creating a new value, but we're using a function rather than just saying the value, and we pass in our three numbers, so our x value, our y value, and our z value. Now these don't even have to be numbers, they can even be things that point to numbers, so we could pass in the x position of another part, we could pass in maybe the first value of a color three, as long as it in the end comes down to a number, we can put anything inside of these values. So I know that, so that's how we do it just by saying vector three dot new, but what if we want to actually use that value? What if we want to set the, maybe the position of a part to a vector three value? So what I'll do is I'll say part dot position, we'll get the position property. And when I first started scripting, I thought I could just say part dot position dot x equals five or one, part dot position dot y equals two, part dot position dot z equals five, right? I thought I could do it like that, but you actually can't. You have to specify position as a vector three value because if you look at the position right here, it specifies it in the one, in the one line right there, it separates it by commas and it's just one value. These are just a way that Roblox Studio, right? This is a way Roblox Studio represents these values to us. But we can't actually, you know, change these values. We have to change it in the form of a vector. So, rather than saying part.position.x equals one, using vector three values, I would say part.position equals, and I just set the position, and then I have to say, as we sh we're doing down here, I have to say vector three.new, and then I can pass in my X value, my Y value, and my Z value. So if I want to position my part to 0, 0, 0, we can put the code in that I just put right there. And as you'll see, I don't even think, yep, see, our part moved to 0, 0, 0. And if we type in position on the properties channel, see, it moved to 1.1 because it's unanchored. But the X is 0 and the Z is 0. So we set the position of that part to 0, 0, 0. It moves it to zero studs on the x-axis, zero studs on the y-axis, and zero studs on the z-axis, right? So it's very, very easy to use vectors rather than having to change each one specifically or dealing with C-frames. We can just use vectors and we can change it just by looking at the studs and changing the numbers in this vector three value. So another thing that we can do with vector threes is not just set the part position or set the value, we can read from it as well. So I know I was saying earlier, we can't say part.position.x equals five, but we can print part.position.x. We can read from that, and then we can use that value to shift it over, or we can use that value for anything we'd really like in our game. So if we print out part.position.x, it prints negative eight. And if we look at the position, it should be equal to, yep, right there, negative eight. We can do the same thing for y and for z. I'll print out print part dot position dot y and I'll print z as well and it'll print those three values right so we can read and we can get an accurate understanding of where these parts are in our world space 
So if we look right there, right, see, it prints out the exact numbers. Now I know these kind of go on for a little while, but they're really close. It's just the way Roblox stores numbers. Um, but because they're number values, it'll do that sometimes. Um, now this is awesome, right? So we can change the position of our part um, specifically to you know specific values or we can read from it. But another thing that I actually didn't know when I was a beginner and I wish I knew is that we can actually add vectors together. We can just shift a part up, down, or over. Using the way I just showed you, we could say, let's say we want to shift our part five studs upwards. Using the way I just showed you, I would say part dot position this is old me I would say part dot position equals vector 3 dot new and then I'd say part dot position dot X I'd say part dot position dot Y right we're reading these values plus 5 and then I'd say part dot position dot Z so the, these values right here the X and the Z are the same and I shift it up by 5 on the Y and this does do what I want right but it's a lot more code and it's a lot simpler to actually do it another way so what we can do is we can say part.position equals, and we can actually add and subtract vectors. We can even multiply and divide, but I'm not going to get into that right now. But we can add and subtract vectors. So I could say part.position equals part.position, which is a vector 3 value, plus, and we can add in another vector 3 value. So I could say plus vector 3.new. Well, I don't want to shift it any on the x-axis, so I'll put 0. I want to shift it 5 studs up on the y-axis, so I'll put 5. And I don't want to shift it any on the z-axis, so I'll just put 0. And as you'll see, it'll do the same exact thing we did before, but look how much easier that is to wrap your head around rather than having to specify all those values in there. So I know that kind of, even that might seem a little bit confusing. That's literally the same thing as saying vector 3 dot new maybe 1 comma 2 comma 5 right we're adding these together it adds the first number the second number and the third number right and it Roblox does that for us so it's really nice um, let me just undo that and we can do the same exact thing but we can subtract it so if we wanted to maybe shift it down 5 rather than up 5 well yeah we could always put plus and then put a negative 5 there but Roblox allows us to do these other operations. So I could subtract it, and as you'll see, it'll shift it down five. So it's really cool, and this is a great way to manipulate your vectors. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. As always, I'll have some other resources linked in the description, and I'll see you guys later.